Hello everybody, welcome back for another episode of the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time we made you choose a starter. This time, uh, we get to choose said starter. So, uh, let's just go down the very, very, uh, dominated battle here. Psyduck got absolutely nothing. Uh, personally, I kind of wanted to choose Poliwag, but my votes don't count. So, Poliwag got absolutely nothing. So our winner and our starter is going to be Muck. And there was one comment that left a nickname in particular, which I'm gonna be naming. So yeah, I got a Muck. And we will be naming this thing, uh, should I pull it up? I'm gonna pull it up because I'm not 100% sure about the spelling. I know it's because I'm a dumb boy. Oh, no, I should add that video to a gosh dang playlist. I'm going to add this to a playlist. Anyway. Nope. There you go. Let's add this to the gosh dang that playlist. And then let's look at the comment here. Because... We're gonna name this thing friggin' Bukaki. <laughs> because this game is not censored, you're allowed to name it that. So we're fighting. Oh, wait a minute. This thing has confusion. I'm gonna hate this thing when it's a Golduck. Oh, I am gonna hate that when it's a Golduck. Seriously, I am gonna hate it. Alright, let's go. Let's go, Sheffrey. We agree, bro. Pokemon, come on, I'll take you on. I'm dead. <laughs> He's a dead boy. Uh-oh. Uh-uh. Alright, what's Bukaki's moveset? What is it? Well, actually, oh wait. Oh, the types are random. Never mind. Grass flying. We are quad weak to ice. That's great. Wow, that's a stab mon. Okay, I just gotta hope that, it's <laughs> that this thing is weak to both freaking uh, Razor Leaf and uh, and or wing attack. I, I have to hope and pray. Oh, uh, what's its stats looking like, actually? Let's see. It's mo it's defensive and special. Okay, so I want to hit it with grass first. Alright, let's see what a razor leaf does. Neutral. Okay. Wow, that actually does a lot of damage. It just has scratch. Uh-oh. It's getting a crit. This thing is a speedy boy. Let's go for a leech seed. Oh, I'm glad I went for the Leech Seed, because I don't want to deal with Evade. I don't want to deal with it. Alright, let's see how much damage a Wing Attack does. Never mind, we missed. Oh! Or it'll be here forever. I'm going to have to struggle to death. If this thing doesn't want to cooperate, I'm probably going to have to struggle to death. I want to know how much Wing Attack does. Oh! Am I allowed to speed up through this? Can I speed up through this? It's neutral. It's... I have no choice. I've got to speed up through this. Come on, Bukaki, you got this. Yes, we did it. What unbelievable! Pick the wrong Pokemon. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to open it up. Reaper Grant million later. Okay, I'm glad we didn't waste 50,000 hours. <laughs> like, seriously, like, 5,000 hours trying to do that. <laughs> it's dumb. Okay. Oh, we don't have Pokeballs, so this battle is inconsequential. Slowbro. I don't want to know what Slowbro is. I don't really know the market for that, because I feel like this thing could blow up and kill me instantly. Much like a certain giant evil bird that it blew up against. Whatever, I've got to scope out these types early, just so I don't get bodied. Resists grass. Okay. Oh, it's poison. Okay. I'm running away from you. So, poison type slow bro. Okay. Well, thing is, just because it has a certain type of move doesn't mean it's guaranteed to be that type. 
it's it's a most likely scenario when it has those kind of moves, but at the same time, eh. So whatever. I'm just trying to scope things out as best as I possibly can. All right. So all I know is uh is maybe Poison type Slowbrow, Psyduck. I don't know the type for. Muck is Grass Flung. So getting an Ice type would be helpful because if I bump into other Mucks, then. I mean, good, especially because of the stat distribution. Because the stat distribution on Bukaki is actually pretty got is pretty dang good. It's slow, but at the same time, yeah, it gets the job done. It, 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 the point comes across. He's also tanky, so there you go. Yeah, like he is just a tank. He 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 will just sit there and just take hits. So no, it's good. I don't know what Psyduck and Poliwag's stats would have been like. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna hop down these ledges. Because me know in the mood for encounters. Well, actually, I have to risk an encounter going through here. Which is that? Bump into Slumbro. Okay. <gasps> oh, God! Pulling back hiccups. Just like I usually do. How's my old Pokemon? <laughs> Give me a stupid box. Oh, this is the GS ball. Oh yeah, that pretty much. I'm pretty sure that is the G. It's the GS ball before the GS ball was a thing. What'd you call me for? Oh man, I have a request of you two on the desk is my invention. I don't want to read this dialogue. I've read this dialogue so many goddamn times. Like I swear to God, everybody's played Gen One except. I'm not. I've finally done Red and I've done Extreme. So there you go. I don't need you! Okay, the music broke for half a second. Odd. Uh, I'm gonna go pick up the town map. Because I might need it. There you go. Hello. Come on, do you want to take the town map yet? You turn around to find out where you are. God, she remember. How did Hannah remember what Daisy said? I mean... Okay, shit. Is there going to be a run to another Slowbro? Yeah, it's going to be another Slowbro. Okay, so I assume that Slowbro is the most likely encounter on this route, which... I mean, as it check for Bukaki, it's good coverage later on. Especially because I only know that it has Poison Sting. So it could have, like, Acid or Sludge or something. Which I'm pretty... Oh. No, oh, I can just have Poliwag. <laughs> I can just have both. I can have both starters. Okay, all right. We can see what all three of them are. Maybe Psyduck is in here. Caterpie? That's not bad. That can evolve early. You can get a Mewtwo at like level seven. Granted, it doesn't die. Granted, if it doesn't die first. I don't know. I would just switch it in and out with Bukaki, but that's just me. Oh, I didn't see what the item in the tree is, actually. Let's go see what the item in the tree is. Because that's another vitamin or gosh dang nugget. And boy, I want those items. A full heal. I'll take it. It's useful. Every item so far I've found is not bad. However, I have just jinxed myself. Oh, I could go and see what the Verdian Forest items are without the without being loaded through the encounter, so I don't have balls yet. We're just gonna pick up as many items as we possibly can early on. Just because. Just because I need it right now. Just because I need it right now. I, I, I'm so afraid of doing this series. I'm so afraid. Because I know I'm going to lose. I know I'm going to lose early on. Because these games are bullshit. Oh! We've already broken the game. I broke it and I didn't even have to try. Oh shit, what's in Verdian Forest? Butterfree. What level is it? Level four? Oh, I might not be able to escape from this. Okay, I got away. Thank God. Whew. Pretty sure there's no item over here. Yeah, there's no item over there. All the rest of the items are past the trainers, and I'm not full I'm not leveled enough to face them. Alright, so we have not none of the items we've faced are bad. 
nothing, nothing, nothing we've gotten in our bag so far has been awful. So I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't jinx it. Anyway. Uh, well, oh, the, the gosh dang store. <laughs> I just, I blanked. I just, I literally just blanked. That's what I did. I just blanked. All right. Uh, iron, we're going to sell that off because I want the money. Uh, HP up. We're going to sell you off. I need the money. Uh, f uh we're going to keep these. I'm going to shuffle the town map with the fresh water. Or no, I'm going to shuffle it with a full heal because if I do that, then it's good. Now we can buy... Oh, they don't Oh, that's right. They don't give you potions. But I can at least buy five of each medicine. I can at least buy five of each medicine and then a crap ton of balls. Now, the problem is if we encounter a legend, then we probably will not be able to catch a legend. So, there you go. Infernal Crisis. Oh, boy. Hey, my girl, Edgy Berserker, finally beat Final Fantasy VIII. Good on her. And we're going to begin the Nuzlocke rules. The Nuzlocke rules are going to begin. Oh, I don't want to start them, but i contractually obligated to start them. All right, I'm going to stuff my uh, fresh water down here. And I'm going to put my... I'm going to slowly try to get my uh, medicines up here. Because I'll need them later on. I'm going to need these goddamn medicines. Definitely, I need antidotes and paralyze heals more. Okay. All right. There you go. So now we're stacked. So now, if we lose Bukaki, the game's over. So if bullshit strikes, then that's it. We're, we lost. It's done. Anyway. <sighs> All right. Any, any one of these, I don't really care. I, I, don't, I, I don't really care that much. From the Route 1 encounters I've seen, personally, I don't care that much. Oh my god, bruh. It's what I was ta <laughs> I was talking about Goldbuck earlier! What the fuck? Oh, Leech Seed might actually come handy for getting some damage. What a Swift! That's decent early game. It's five damage. Okay. Um, Peck seems like the kind of move... Oh yeah, that's really good for encounters, actually. Especially when it's neutral. Stomp! Okay, uh, we need to catch you. We, I need to catch you right now. Just so that this stops. Fuck! Stop! S with an M in front of it. <laughs> I have, to, I have to already use the free potion. I already have to use it. I'm gonna get fucked on my first... Am I seriously getting fucked on my first encounter? Really? Three Pokeballs, one potion? Thank you. So there you go. Bukaki might be the only uh, terrible name. Uh, give me nickname suggestions in the comments. For this first episode, we're gonna get some randomly generated names, but whatever. The Golduck, the duck Pokemon. Oh, I have such a good name for this. Often seen swimming elegantly by lake shores, it is often mistaken for the Japanese monster cat. What? Who, who the fuck? Who mi mixes? Isn't the Kappa like some kind of like weird turtle demon? I know Daryl would have some issues with that. So there you go. Daryl the duck. There you go. He took my potion away. He's a normal type. <laughs> oh, yes! oh, <laughs> 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 oh my god! Really? That is not real. That is unreal. That's uh, that's not that. Why? I'm so glad he did not go for Horn Drill the entire battle. I'm so glad. Now, unfortunately, I will have to grind it in order to get anything. Basically, this is just going to be me grabbing encounters because I'm too afraid to do anything. Like, I need to grind before even 
trying anything in the goddamn game. I swear to I need to grind before I do anything. Which is stupid. It's dumb. It's really stupid. So, also another thing is that Dupe's Claws is in effect in this series. However, if you want to play along with me in this format, uh, number one, you can hit me up and I can give you a ROM. It won't... I can give you my ROM, actually. I can just put a download link if you want it. But if you want to play my ROM, go ahead. I'll send you it. But if not, then whatever. Um, but just know that I'm not going to be playing Species Claws because of the random evolutions, meaning anything can evolve into anything, so Species does not apply. Ugh, I'm risking Bukaki so hard. I'm risking it. But anyway, we're going to go to Route 22, grab an encounter, because why the fuck not? Why would I not try it? Okay, there we go. We got it. It's Kabuto. All right, we were so close to Drake. We were so close. We were so gosh dang close to Drake. All right, leech seed. Let's leech seed it up. Wing attack. Okay, this thing is also... Oh no, the broken types. I'm gonna have to run away from this thing because the broken types. If this thing also has fighting type moves, I'm fucked. I'm straight fucked. I'm straight fucked if it has fighting type moves. Okay, this thing might just be perfect. Okay, Daryl, you take way too much damage. Uh, focus energy... I don't really care that much. Let's try to stomp it. Might actually have to use the fresh water. Okay, it's not very... it's neutral. <sighs> Do I want to use the fresh water? Just to keep him on the field and try to catch it? I already have a flying type, but Kabuto might serve as good power on the P. You know what? This thing, it doesn't evolve until like level 40 something. The thing is, is if I try to run and I can't escape, then that's gonna be an issue. Because then I'll lose Daryl. Okay. I'm gonna throw away the encounter. I'm sorry. It's not worth grinding it up to level 40. It's not worth grinding it up, and it's not worth me throwing away my fresh water. It's not worth it. Oh, I need to get to pewter. I need to get to pewter. I need to fucking get to pewter. I need to. All right, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. Oh, God! Never mind, you're not getting some randomly generated goodness. Okay. Yeah, I think my next course of action is grinding up Daryl. I think I just have to grind him up. The thing is, if Slowbros or fucking Kabuto show up, then I'm done. It's over. I'm done, it's over. Polyrath! What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Oh, Bukaki is still in the front. God damn it. Probably. Uh, the thing is, switch training in this game gives you. A oh, actually. Oh, no. I didn't turn on the skate. Okay. This game and Gold and Silver give the black and white experience scaling. However, that sucks when you're trying to over level. Because that system basically heavily disencourages... Wow, Polyrath might also be normal type. These things might be gold for Daryl, because... There you go, that's a free level up. Do we, we learn a move? No, we don't. I'm pretty sure... Oh, Daryl's a stone evo. Fuck, he's not gonna learn moves. That's gonna be a problem. That's also gonna be a problem. I'm gonna need to kill this recording soon. Oh, God! Please tell me I can switch. Okay, okay, you know what? Caterpie is water. What the fuck? Okay, Caterpie is water type. Tell me it's water type. Okay, it's water type. We have a water type Caterpie. Okay, so Caterpie will evolve into a... Wow, Bukaki was that close to leveling up. Okay, so I do have a Pokemon at the level of the first Viridian Trainer. That's good. Or Viridian Forest Trainer. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, okay. I'm glad I could switch out a Clamp, because if I wasn't able to switch out a Clamp, then I would have been very, very upset. Okay.
I do apologize if this does get repetitive. Wow, it also has absorb? Huh. I mean, grass would be neutral on itself, I think, unless it resists itself. I don't know if it's neutral or if it resists itself. But anyway... I'm gonna put Stomp in front. Why? Because I wanna get that flinch chance. Oh! It dug a hole! Well, Swift doesn't miss, so... I think I should still be able to kill it. Ha 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 ha! stupid two-turners. Thinking they can avoid me? You can't avoid me. I'm too good for you. I'm sorry, but you need to be on my team. Uh, that, that's, what, that, what's me, that's what needs to happen. I'm sorry. Alright, so I think if I would have done that before trying to catch the Kabuto, I could have gotten the Kabuto, but honestly, I'm not that upset that I didn't catch the Kabuto because I already have a flying type, so whatever. Could have another, it could have had a subtype, but it had wing attack and gust, so it probably just would have been a pure flying stab bomb, so honestly, I'm not that upset. Anyway, I'm not going to get Route 2 because um, Route 2 is at the end of Pewter. So, I'm just gonna get my encounter in Viridian Forest, and then I'll have a team of three, which will be easier to grind than a team of four. Definitely. It'll definitely be easier to grind. So, there you go. Also, there's no level modifier. Um, maybe at Gen 3, if you really want it, I'll put in a level modifier, but level modifiers essentially make the game nearly impossible to beat. So, there you go. I mean, it's good if you want a really hard game, but at the same time, in a Nuzlocke setting, almost impossible. Anyway, let's get a Viridian Forest account. Do I want, Oh, I probably want Bukaki in the front so I can get the Leech Seed, because popping the Leech Seed is really good. I'm thinking of another couple reasons to pop it, so pop some Leech Seeds. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Why am I not getting any encounters? This patch. It's that one. I've been walking in grass for five minutes. Nothing showed up. <laughs> I've been walking in this grass for five years. I haven't seen shit. I'm not seeing shit. That, that's insane. How am I not seeing anything? They want me to battle the trainer first. Oh, I can skip him. Okay. Cool, I can just... Dodge the trainers and get the items. Okay, good. That's what I like. There, item. An iron. Okay, more money. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for the money. I'm super glad for it. Okay, there it is. There's the encounter. Okay, there. Oh my god, it's Lord Helix! I get another chance. I get another chance at a fossil Pokemon. Leech Seed. So we seeded it. How much damage would it do? Absorb. It's also a grass type. Well, actually, I can't come to that conclusion. Um, I would have to razor leaf it to confirm. However, if I peck, it'll be super. Well, I mean, it's level five, so and it's a fully evolved Pokemon, so it should have better defenses. Thing is, it could be left on one, and then the leech seed would kill it off. So let's see if razor leaf does any damage. Okay, grass does resist itself. Leech life. It's a bug. Oh, I'm part flying. That's why. So is it grass bug? If so, then damn. What the fuck am I gonna do with it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got it. Okay. There you go. I think Lord he the spiral Pokemon. A prehistoric Pokemon that died out when its heavy shell made it impossible to catch prey. And then it became the lord of everything. Shit. Never mind, I thought we were gonna have some randomly generated goodness. Fuck it. No. Fuck the random name generator. Because <laughs> after that, you guys will just throw down your name suggestions. And then I'll use that as cannon fodder. So, yeah. Okay. Anyway, we now have Lord Helix by our side. Oh, it's pure bug. Okay. It has Absorb, Leech Life, Stomp, and Pin Missile. Okay. Uh, not, not too shabby. Well, let's stick Daryl in the front slot just so we can get some levels on Daryl. And we're going to hop in and grab this item. So what is the item? 
A leaf stone. Okay, so you can evolve something. Cool. Take it. And then I'm gonna grab the item in front of this trainer. A protein. I have ten thousand dollars in my pocket. <laughs> Why do I have so much money? I have so much money. The thing is, the one thing I wanna buy right now are potions. And I can't buy them. That's the conundrum I'm having right now. I want potions, goddammit. I want potions. That's all I want. Alright. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, it's just gonna stomp me. We stomp just as hard. Oh, that's why I, that's why I put stomp in that front slot. Bruh, that's why I did it. And then it got desperate and went for the leech. And then it critted. And then it critted. Cross of crits. Why wouldn't it crit? Why in the world would it not crit? Alright, so Lord Helix better watch out for uh, slow bros and kabutos because they're flying and poison type. And, and mucks. Mucks too. Has to avoid those. Alright, I'm pretty sure that trainer you can't skip. Actually, no, didn't I do that? Oh no, I didn't I didn't go that way. Alright, whatever. And then this guy, you just have to walk all the way. Because if you're in grass, he can't see you. There you go. Sp Spiro! Okay. Spiro's out here. Oh yeah, also there's no shiny claws, so basically if you miss an encounter, fuck you. <laughs> That's basically what it is. You missed an encounter, fuck you. There you go. Uh, there you go. I feel like this is gonna be the call to action. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop just to scope it out. Thundershock! Well, I'm glad I'm here, bug. Because, okay. Electric type spear up, eh? Oh, interesting. Wow, that's not even, wow, that's not even a crit. What are its, what are Lord Helix's stats? If it's, it's it. It's mostly defensive and mostly special. Okay. Even then, for Pin Missile being physical, that was still some pretty hefty damage. And then again, it was against a Spiro, so what do I know? Ugh, I don't know. I'm gonna have to get close to ending this episode, but I'm gonna heal up in the Pokemon Center and sell off those items. Because I'm gonna have like 20, I'm gonna have like 20 grand going to, going to Pewter. So I have no reason to lose Brock. I have no reason to lose against Brock. I have no reason. Because I'm gonna have a bunch of potions, I'm gonna have a bunch of status healers. And I'm just gonna keep buying status healers. That, that's what I'm gonna do. Although, admittedly, there's a lot of things I wanna carry on my bag right now, and you can't because and I can't really afford that because of the limited bag space, because you only get 20 bag bag spots. Also, you only get 20 Pokemon slots in the PC. So if you screw up, you could lose an encounter to that. Oh, I thought I already had 10 10k, but I didn't. Alright. We still have the fresh water, so there you go. Alright, we got 15k. 15k is fine. Or si 16! Well then. Uh, okay. Well then again, breaking into Saffron is only gonna help a little bit. And then Lee Stone, we can just chuck in the PC. I mean, we don't need to do it right now, because fucking... We have a lot of bad room, for now anyway. Early game, you can afford to keep some items on you that you don't really need later on. But... Later on, yeah, that PC is gonna have more items than your bag. That's for sure. Like, they tried to make Pokemon semi-realistic, and I don't know why. I don't know why they would do that to you. Alright, anyway, I'm, I'll just grind. I'm just gonna have to grind for the rest of this episode. That's basically what I'm gonna do. Now, oh, it's a, a freakish number of you like me grinding. I don't know why. I think it's boring. I think it's boring, arduous, necessary to use speed up button. Which I don't want to keep doing during this series. Oh, withdraw. Is this thing water type? Nope, I meant to click absorb. Oh, it flinched. Okay. Is it water type? Okay, Butterfree is still water type. So maybe Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. It skips Metapod. I'm fine with skipping Metapod. If a Caterpie just evolved straight into Butterfree, I'd be totally fine with it. Alright, let's battle this guy, because now I have up to his ace, I think. If not, then 
Nidoran female. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna stop it. Oh! Oh no! We're gonna do this shenari- these shenanigans. Now, Bind is very weak. Okay, we're not going to Daryl. That's for sure. So a ghost-type Nidoran female. All I can do is hit Absorb. Oh, crap. If it was any higher level, this thing would actually be risky. Alright, neutral. Oh my god! Alright, so I can't go to Daryl. Literally all I can do is go to Bukaki. That's it. That's all I can do. This thing is scary! Why? This is why I don't want to battle trainers in this game. It's because I can do that to you! And you're forced to just sit there and fight. You're forced. Oh, right. Oh, it might be ghost fighting, actually. Okay, it's just pure ghost. Okay. Don't para, don't para, don't para, don't para. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh, no, it's gonna para bind. Seriously, we're doing this now? Still has another poke. He still has another poke. How? Venomoth. Uh-oh. It's Daniel. I swear to God, this is Daniel. All right, all I have left is Daryl. Should I try to go for the horn drill? If I'm desperate, I'm gonna go for the horn drill. Mimic. Okay, it learned Stomp. Oh, God! It's also a ghost! So we could have a Mexican standoff right there if we really wanted to. Aw, oh, crap. Bukaki is super injured. Super all that. Oh, God. Am I going to have to struggle to death? Am I going to have to struggle with Daryl? I think that's what I'm going to have to do. This battle is going to take too long. This is going to be the rest of the episode. Vice grip. Okay. So, it could do damage to me, but I couldn't do damage to it. Okay. Seems legit. Yeah, I'm going to have to use the fresh water. Yeah, th this is gonna take forever. This is gonna take forever. Even I don't even think I can win. At this point, I don't think I can win. I don't even think I can win this battle. I'm gonna have to use the fresh water on Bukaki and get rid of the para on that turn uh, with Daryl. Assuming that the vice grips don't kill him. Oh, it's Confuse Ray! It's Confuse Ray! Okay, so, I mean, I think if I just use the Paralyze heal, Get Bukaki up, because it has Lick, but it doesn't appear to have Nightshade. So if it just doesn't have Nightshade, then we're fine. Then we're fine. Okay, Lick. Please, for the love of God, do not para again. That was a crit. God damn it. <sighs> I want to get the Leech Seed off. I don't think I can. Alright, we're going to use it. We're going to use it. Okay, it learned Stomp, which is bad, because it can para, it can flinch, and it can, uh, confuse. And has Vice Grip. For some reason. Oh, wow. Dude, I think this Venomoth is gonna, this Venomoth is gonna make me lose. I can't, I'm gonna lose to this Venomoth. It's too defensive. It's so def- don't crit, do not do it. Okay. If it would have critted me, I swear to God. I might have to go to Lord Felix to finish it. Oh my God, it... Ugh. Oh no, 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 no. I need to go for like... Well, Vice Grip has less power than gosh dang Stomp. So if it goes for Stomp, that'd be a one shot. If it goes for anything else... I'll have to- I'm gonna sit there and stall with Daryl, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit here and stall. Literally, that's what I'm gonna do. Even then, I can still land- oh, I can just do focus energies. That'll do something. There you go, we're just gonna keep pumping up. There you go. Keep- keep blasting through turns. Yes, we did it! Wow, that was the most stressful battle in my entire life.
I need something good for ghost types. I need a ghost type. Because that is unacceptable. Oh my god. That ripped me such a new one. Su that's such a... I just... That actually just bored a new asshole inside of me. Like, why? Why? What? Why? 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 Why in the love of God would you have these gosh dang ghost fuckers? Why? Why would you have these things? Why are things things? All I can do at this rate is just battle those trainers. That's all I can. I at, at this rate, all I can do is just grind and fight those trainers, and I don't have time for that. Which means next episode is Brock, no matter what I do. And and beating Brock is an important event. And whenever I bring up important events, that's not bad. I don't like important events in these games. Alright, who's in front? Lord Helix. Now, the thing is, I just lost my game-breaking item. So, unless I find a soda pop or a lemonade or another fresh water, I might have to go through Rock Tunnel. And me no want to go through Rock Tunnel. I'm gonna do one more battle. One more. Three mons. You're serious! If this is another fucking ghost type, I swear on my mother. Smog. It might be poison type. Please just die. Yes! We got rid of the Alkazam. Okay. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you for swearing at this thing and killing it. Okay. <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow, I skipped a level. Honestly, for Daryl, this is fine. Star you. All right, we're gonna go to uh, boobs, boobs, butt, and cocky. Oh my god! I landed two horn drills in a row. That doesn't happen. Oh shit! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! I'm a pretty big fire weakness, also. Mist. I'm not gonna fool around with horn draw on this thing. Okay, it flinched. Thank you. Do not get a low roll. Oh my god. I mean, a Pokemon doesn't that, that never happens, does it? Yes, it does, kid. You're an idiot. Wow, Daryl is the man of the hour. <laughs> now, I don't want to bank on that horn drill because that right there, what I just pulled off, was bullshit. That was bullshit. I'm just letting you know. I had to bank on it not being a ghost type, and I had to bank on it landing and, and it being exact leveled. I could have tried to fuck that star you up, and I had to try to do it again on this level 9. I mean, I could just grind up, but at the same time, I don't have time. So fuck it, we're gonna battle this guy. Especially because he only has one mod, I think. So if it does hit at equal level, so if it does hit at equal level, that means you get this battle over with instantly. Never ran male, or I'm glad it wasn't another female. If it was another female, I think we would have lost. And that's it, the battle's over. Because I horn drilled it. This horn drill is weirdly broken. I think Daryl's fast. If he's really fast, then that thing has a higher chance of it landing. No, it's his lowest stat. Then how in the everlasting fuck did I pull that off? Honestly, I think I could go for the Route 2 encounter at this point. I have enough time. I barely have enough time for it, but I do have enough time for it. How long has it been? 40 minutes. I mean, for our first video, well, I mean, for the first true episode, I think you deserve this. Because... The, the 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 voting for Bukaki was very very slim, and well, not the vote itself, just the amount of people who voted. Still enough to convince me to choose Bukaki. 
clearly. Um, oh, you know what? Finally, I got to Pewter City. You know what I'm gonna do? Potion me. Me want 20 potions. I don't give a fuck. Also, some awakenings. Screw it. We're gonna take some awakenings, too. This feels like Pokemon Indigo. <laughs> this does freakishly feel like Pokemon Indigo. It does. There you go. I'm sorry, town map. You're getting pushed all the way down here. He's a paralyzed heal, but not an antidote. Or whatever. So now we have potions. We have potions. We can heal on the fly. Which I like that. I like being able to heal on the fly. Not on the fly of the pants, because that's stupid. Anyway, uh, we're going to use Lord Helix first, because Lord Helix does not do that much damage. So he will not kill the encounter. It is a... Okay, we need a, a water stone for it, but I'll take it. It's a pre-evo. Stop. Poison powder. We're poisoned. Now I need the goddamn antidotes. I jinxed myself again. I keep doing that. Bullshit. Is this thing like psychic poison? What the fuck? What is this? What are you? Fuck you. Get in the ball. This should be an easy game. Okay, thank you. Shelter was caught. Uh, I got nothing. I got no name for Shelter, so whatever. Shelter, the bivalve Pokemon. Its hard shell repels any kind of attack. It is only, it's vulnerable only when its shell is open. Good thing it's open all the goddamn time. All right, we're gonna roll a random name for this one because I don't have anything for Shelter. Jawdat. <laughs> What's the fuck? Okay, Jawdat is the name. And clamping stuff is its game. There we go. All I wanted to do was a quick, easy name. That's all I wanted. And you know what? I got the quick and easy name. So here we go. Quick and easy! So now we have four team members. Uh, not the best amount of team members we can have at the moment, but then when we pop into uh, route three, we can get a free encounter, we can get the encounter, and we can get the free, uh, the static Pokemon, which can be anything because we randomized it. So, the magic carp can be a Mewtwo, for all I know. And there you go. Uh, yeah. So, we're, I'm gonna grind off screen for the next episode, but let's just see what Jot at. What the f- what is- was, was I right with Psychic Poison? Was I absolutely right? I want it to retain Psychic so bad. But that could have been so helpful. That could have been so helpful. But it's pure Psychic. Okay. So it has Teleport, Poison Powder, Light Screen, and Confusion. Only one attack move. But at this point, I'm fine with it. And it actively learns moves because it's a pre-evo. I might like this thing. I might like it. We've got two monster things and two shells. I don't know. This is a weird band of freaks we got going on. But at the same time, I'm a freak myself. So it, it doesn't really matter. And you know what? I finished that one hour on the dot on the in-game clock, and we've got and I've got just enough time to make it to my meeting. So you know what? I'm perfectly okay with this. So anyway, uh, next time on the Pokemon Red Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, we are going to be battling Brock. So will mandate grinding. Uh, and also, no grinding montage, because it's gonna take fucking forever. Uh, and I will be going down to Route 3, and possibly even starting up Mount Moon. So anyway, I will see you all next time.